Hello everyone, this is Imran Ali here. Welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about Aweber and how you can create a landing page with Aweber. So as you can see, we are at the website of Aweber and obviously you can create a free landing page uh, through Aweber. So what you need to do is that uh, click on get Weber free, Aweber free. Once you click on it, it will take you right over here. You just need to add your details over here and that then click on start going today. So I'm just going to do that very quickly. So once you have set up your whole account and password, you will end up over here like you need to select a plan. Obviously for this tutorial, I'm going with the free and you can see that uh, with the $16 per month, you will end up getting these uh, features and for the zero dollar you will end up getting these features you can just pause the video and just analyze it if you want but obviously we are not going to do that because we need to create a landing page so we're just going with this zero dollar as you can see over here we are at the dashboard of aweber and this is my new account by the way so that's why it's showing up very like uh, you need to do this you need to do this so we are going to create and publish our landing page right over here as you can see or if you don't see this you what you can do like you can see there are multiple options over here pages and forms you can see that just click on this arrow you will find up uh, this landing pages option so just click on it and it will take you at the landing page uh, area so obviously they are just saying like uh, landing pages are a simple way to promote your business and grow your subscribers list so on the top right corner you can see that uh, create a landing page just click on create a landing page and you will end up over here so this is very interesting to know that they have provided uh, multiple like multiple templates out there which you can use and obviously you can edit them later also which we will do because pre-made uh, what do we say pre-made templates are very good for like you don't need to do every single thing you you just find uh similar to your like a uh, brainstorming thing and uh, uh, work on it you can just change every single thing so yeah otherwise if you want to do from the scratch you can do that also from here which is very useful in my opinion so, so for some for some reasons uh, you can like you can just go ahead and click on blank canvas or you can start from the scratch otherwise for this you can see there are multiple templates out there which you can choose and for this tutorial i'm just going with this personal promotion obviously you can preview it from over here like how it will look like uh, before we edit uh, it and uh, you can see it's a desktop version and this is a mobile version how it will look like on mobile so i'm just going to click on edit page and it will take us where we are going to edit every single thing related to this landing page so as you can see we are going to create from over here and before we go further we just need to realize what is going on over here so on the left side you can see these are elements you can just scroll down and find more on the right side you have properties and on the middle whatever you are working on already so just say like if i want to change this image just click on it and you can see accordingly to this uh, image and whatever you are going to click it will show up properties for you on the right side as you can see this is the properties for this image so we can change it from over here we can design it on canva also we can set the attributes related to our obviously our image and we can just uh, give spacing if, if we want and sizing if we want so we will go ahead and do that just i'm just letting you all know and if you think that uh, there's something should be between these two and uh, you need to add something like forms or something like that you can just go ahead and like uh, if you want to add some more images over here just click it click over here and drag it over here simple as that so where you can like just click on it and you can upload it from over here and you can find on the image gallery also so obviously if you need to delete it you can just delete it you can duplicate it if you want and you can move it if you want so this is all on you so whatever you are going to create so yeah just click on it delete it if you want and just remember that it is like this all is working on us like a row as you can see over here this is showing row this is the row right and what are these two these are columns one and two so just remember that for the future right so that's it for now and uh, what are we going to do we are going to edit now so right now we are going to change an image first so i'm just going to click on it and what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on upload a picture just click on it and find the image you want to search and put it in it will take some time as you can see over here it will take some not that much but it will take some time obviously so it hasn't been changed yet i don't know why but uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to click on it and i'm going to delete it so once you delete it obviously we need an image over here right so click on the elements and uh, draw, drag and drop over here so click on this click to edit 
and uh, upload an image we can upload it from over here obviously and image gallery so we can find multiple stock images from over here and for, uh, our images which we uh, like edit before so we can also use that otherwise we have stock images which I'm going to use the first one obviously for this tutorial I, I think is enough and uh, you can also edit this obviously and uh, what I'm going to do sale 50% off like 50 sorry 50% 50 off on all like uh, equipments so you can add more details if you want and obviously you can change the icons and every single thing uh, sorry not icon uh, fonts and every single thing related to it so you can do that too obviously you can find more options on the left side if you are doing any e-commerce thing you can also just drag and drop over here just for this tutorial i'm just letting you all know click on it and uh, obviously on the right side you will find multiple things like you can connect to stripe if you want and how the order form will look like you can see over here if someone's going to buy it just they will click on it and they will end up over here how it will look like you can see over here you can change the buttons also you can change the shape of the button also you can do multiple things related to it as you can see it's changing right now and you can change the color also so if you're doing any e-commerce you can do that too if you're doing any subscription based thing you can do that too if you want and on the right down at the bottom you can see that we have links for multiple social media platforms if you click on it you can see on the right side that we have all of these over there and you, we can add more and if we want to like uh, if someone's going to click on twitter so we need to add our twitter link over here and just click on done so once someone's going to click on it they will end up in our twitter account so this is what's going to happen so as if you can see over here like uh, sign up if we click on it you can see we can also change that all of these okay so you can change the uh, like you can see the size of it uh, you can change that uh, accordingly whatever you want and you can change that like how much round it should be or not it's all on you obviously so we are at the page right now and you can see that uh, uh, link color and link hover so what it what it means so if we hover it on the sign up button you can see it's changing to dark brown and if we leave it how it will look like over here so we can change that also from over here obviously we can go ahead and check our header font like how it will look like and header font is this one by the way so we can see the buttons obviously our button hover is over here sorry button hover is over here we can change that color like over here and if we go ahead and hover over it it will change to dark brown as you can see over here background how background will look like you can add your own background at the background and you can change the color if you want you can see over here so related to this background i'm just going to go with the brown one so like at least close to the brown no uh over here so this this looks good and and if someone's going to sign up so what happens right like obviously they need to have some link or some thank you page will end up they get like they can see over there right so just suppose if someone's going to subscribe from over here with the name and email and they clicked on sign up what they will see so if we see over here on the submission just click on it and you can see they will show that uh, how it will look like that like simply they, they they can see that thank you page and you can preview it if you want just click on it on the next page they will show how it will look like so this is how it will look like so once you click uh, close it and uh, there's one more thing which you can do that if we click on this like uh, thank you page custom URL so what you can do you can also create a different landing page related to your thank you page so just cl click click uh, like any random template and edit them uh, like thank you page so you can choose that link over here at custom URL so what would happen if someone's going to click on this landing page uh, or on this sign up button they will end up on your different landing page which you have created for thank you so this is what it looks like and this is how you are going to add things from the left side like divider what is divider so which you like if you want to divide something like uh, that beneath it you can do that too just make a divider and add more things and it looks simple also so you can add rows if you want what are the rows these these are the rows as you can see over here you can change also logos if you want the, the same thing same method as the image obviously you can change the image size as you can see over here it's all on you how you are going to do that auto width it's an auto width and you can change it right now if you want so this is how it will look like how it's going to be and uh, if you want to see like uh, as a preview you can do that too 
but before we go further what are we going to do like we need to realize like what like uh what is the link of this landing page right so click on settings you will find over here that this will be my link for this landing page which you can share with the world and you can also create your own domain if you want so how this is how you are going to do and you are going to track track them like how like google analytics id you can uh, track this landing page with, uh, with the google analytics and also facebook pixel id so this is all on you otherwise if you're done with this save and exit or just go ahead and click on preview this is what it it it, it will look like on obviously on desktop and if you want to see on mobile version just toggle it and this is this is how it it will look like on mobile version and it looks good by the way and just click on save and exit and that's it this is all you need to know how you can create your landing page on aweber i hope you understand every single thing over here if you have any queries related to it just comment down below let us know and we would love to answer you thank you for watching this video please leave a like and subscribe bye bye